Hi, I'm Tim Kenworthy with Lewis Home Improvements. We participate in the Comfort RX program. We're here at a two-story house in Northeast Ohio on a beautiful fall day to do some diagnostic tests and do some air sealing to make this house more energy efficient. Come on, let's go meet the homeowner. We're here with our homeowner, Debbie. Debbie contacted us through our door hanger marketing program that we had going on in her neighborhood. Debbie, do you want to describe why you want us here and what you want done with your house? Yes, Tim. Um, I invited you into my home because um, my family room is continuously cold all winter long. It is built on a slab and I'm concerned uh, about uh, providing comfort in that room. And uh, throughout the downstairs I have drafty areas where I can feel air blowing in through the wind through the cold winter months and upstairs my bedrooms are cold so I'm looking for something that's going to provide comfort plus re reduce my utility bills throughout the year. Excellent. Well I think we'll be able to help you out. What we're going to do is we're going to start with some diagnostic testing using various tools specifically something called a blower door tester. Okay great. I'll explain that a little bit more later um, but it's very similar to putting a big stethoscope on your house and being able to test how many air exchanges that you have. Okay. After that, we're going to take uh, some various products that we use, specifically handy foam, low pressure spray polyurethane foam, okay. and we're going to air seal your house. When that's all over, we're going to blower door test it again to see what results we have. And I think what you're going to find is you're going to have lower utility bills and a much more comfortable house and a much more energy efficient house. Great. That sounds exactly what I'm looking for. Excellent. Let's Thank get you. started. Thank you. First thing we're going to do is some diagnostic tests on the house. One of our diagnostic tools is this blower door tester. Basically it's a large fan that creates a negative air pressure on the house so we can measure the amount of air exchanges that happen per hour. Um, before we turn this on though there's some certain things we need to address. One is we close all the outside doors and windows of the house and open all the interior doors. Um, we also want to address the combustible appliances. We're going to take the water heater and put it on pilot mode and we're going to turn off the furnace. Let's get started. With our blower door tester on, we've created a negative air pressure in the house. Now air is infiltrating from various sources around the house, and with devices like this smoke pencil, we're able to see how, how bad something is drawing air through. Another diagnostic tool we use is a thermal imaging camera. Right now we're in the basement of the house aimed at the rim joist of the house and as you can see wherever there's a dark blue or even purple color that's where cold air is being drawn in through the rim joist. Another good example of the thermal imaging camera is aiming at this canned light. As you can see wherever the dark blue is that's where air is infiltrating through that canned light from the ceiling. One of the most noticeable areas for air infiltration is the uh, outlets. As you notice, we're using a smoke pencil on this particular outlet. What's going on is there's air being drawn in from the rim joist down below and it's going up through the wall and it's being brought out through this outlet as you see here. As you can see, what we're looking at here is a cover over a candlelight. Um, this will address the air sealing issue that we saw down below the house where the air is infiltrating through the attic, through the can light, and into the house itself. We've put this cover on and we've air sealed around it with handy foam low pressure spray polyurethane foam. Another challenge we face is drywall. Wherever drywall meets wood connections or where drywall meets drywall and there's a gap. As you can see here we used handy foam spray polyurethane foam to fill those gaps and voids. Since we've used polyurethane spray foam to seal the top plate of the walls, we want to make sure that the attic still breathes. As you notice, we've installed some baffles here along the roof line so we can divert the air from the soffits up into the attic and, and the air can go through the attic ridge vent. One of the important aspects of weatherizing a house is air sealing the ductwork. Jeff is using a mastic to air seal this ductwork here. One of the biggest challenges with weatherization is air sealing the rim joist. Um, the rim joist represents the biggest area in the house where air infiltration can occur. Um, what's going on here is Steve is spraying a rim joist with our two component 
low pressure spray polyurethane handy foam to air seal these rim joists. Certainly not every application that, uh, that we can address in the home, but we're trying to give you an idea of the major ones. Well, we're back at Debbie's house. We finished our work yesterday, and we're here to share the results of the final blower door test. Debbie, you experienced a 31% reduction in air exchanges in your home. Is that good? Actually, it's really good. Um, you're going to have a dramatic difference in your heating and cooling bills because you're actually heating or cooling 31% less air. Wow, that's great. It really is. We did a uh, homeowner last year who had a 32% reduction. Uh, just met with them recently, and they experienced a 25% decrease in their heating and cooling bills this past year. Wow. Not only that, you're going to have increased comfort for your home, and you actually are going to uh, tighten up the overall structure and improve it quite a bit. Great. Well, if you wouldn't mind, we have a referral card. I'd like you to pass that to one of your neighbors, if you wouldn't mind. Great. I wouldn't mind at all. I've already been talking to a few of them. Well, great. We appreciate that. Um, and I'm going to do the same with you. I'll follow up in a couple of months to check what kind of work we did here as well. Great, Tim. Thanks. That was nice. Well, we're finished for the day, and we're very happy with our blower door results. We're also very pleased with the Comfort RX products, including the Handy Foam Spray Polyurethane Foam that we use to air seal this house. We're also very confident that this homeowner is going to feel much more comfortable this winter and also see a lot of reduced heating and cooling bills.